Yeah, I think it's another three phase win. Um, you know, you're always proud as a coach in our sport when you can dominate in, in, in a fashion where all three phases feel like they, they uh, came out swinging. Just another incredibly fast start. And I wish I had the secret sauce of why this keeps happening. And, and I'll, I'll credit it to the kids and the, and the staff, the rest of the guys other than me involved in the program, just getting the kids ready and the kids having the right mindset to get ready. And um, these fast starts are just, again, I've never been a part of anything like it. And let's hope it continues. Uh, obviously, we've got our hands full this weekend. But yeah, an incredible day. Um, again, another day where we earned the right to play a lot of guys, a great day for our culture and program. Um, and then I can't say enough about the atmosphere. I, I've been around this place a long time and, and around college football a long time at, at different levels. and. I'm not sure I've ever felt the energy and, and passion and, um, you know, the, what college football is supposed to be with the pageantry and the feel and the energy. It's like, I don't know if I've ever seen what we had on Saturday. So there's got to be a lot of thank yous out to the campus, the, the general students, the community, the alumni, the support staff here in the athletic department that helped, you know, put that day on. And, um, you know, those individuals know who they are, they're, they're responsible for it. But what an incredible, we're kind of, setting the standard pretty high, pretty pretty good day to bring 60 recruits to campus and watch an amazing day and, and open conference season with a big win in front of what looked like the best crowd I've ever seen in the history of this place. So thank you to everybody that was involved in making that day happen. I'm glad we could make our part uh, such a big part of the day and take care of our business because everything else was amazing. You know, as head coaches, you're constantly trying to create narratives to motivate your team. You don't, you don't have to do anything this week. It's like the kids are, they're, all the information's at their fingertips now. They know how good this group is to go in and, and beat lacrosse at their place. And um, it's like, it doesn't, doesn't take you long to understand the challenge you have in your hands. And they've been so good for so long. And, and, and you know, Platteville's as hard of a place to play as there is in, in this league. And, and so, um, you know, we're, we're, we got the challenge of, of our season so far. We know that. Um, but again, like credit to our kids, they just approach every week the same. I keep saying that in, in no disrespect, but another faceless opponent we got to get ready for and out prepare and out work and out play and execute like crazy. But uh, yeah, this will be this will be an incredible challenge. I'm assuming this will be the freaking national game of the week. It's going to get a lot of attention. Now it's a challenge to keep your kids away from all those distractions and get back to working on what has made us successful to this point. And that's doing all the little things right th throughout the week. So we're, we're back to work. Here we go.